backflips. This is SkiAddiction.com riding with Dave Wheel and Brendan Reed. Getting upside down is one of the most fun things you can do on your skis. Backflips are super fun to do and they always turn heads. And the best part is even though they look super impressive, they're actually really easy to do once you get the hang of them. Before trying to get upside down, make sure you're super comfortable spinning fives and sevens on large jumps in the park. While the skills for backflips are different, you need to be really comfortable in the air, so this is a good place to start. Steps. For any flip, you want to make sure your body knows what it's doing before you go out and try it on your skis. This way, your chances of sticking it right away are a lot higher. There are a bunch of places that make it super easy to learn in a safe way. The best places to learn are in trampoline or in diving board. Once you're comfy going upside down and spotting your landing, then you can move to trying your flips on your skis. The safest place to learn is on water ramps or an airbag, but if that's not available, then a jump into some soft snow or pow will work really well too. Trampoline. We'll go through the progression for learning them safely on a trampoline first to make it nice and easy for you. To learn backflips, we highly recommend going to an actual gymnastics center and getting a certified coach to teach you. They have the knowledge and skills to teach you safely. They'll walk you through all the same steps that we're about to, but they'll be there to spot you on your first attempts, which makes it a lot safer. Get comfortable jumping and practice some seat drops, knee drops, back drops, and front drops like this. Try doing a back drop and rolling over backwards over your feet again. When you do this, keep your hands above your shoulders to protect your head and neck. When you're comfortable with this, you can bounce off your back into it. Make sure you're flipping straight over backwards and not rolling to the side. The key to making this happen is keeping your head straight up and down and not looking over your shoulder at all. It may take a few tries to get this, but it'll help later if you get this mastered first. For the full flip, start out standing and do it with a single bounce. This will help keep the wrist down and it will force you to do it properly. The most important part of doing a backflip is to make sure you bounce straight upwards like this and not throw your head back on the takeoff. Once you're in the air, set your rotation by driving your knees up to your chest and looking up. Keep looking straight up and behind you like when we did them off your back. Once you can see the tramp again, put your feet on it and stop bouncing. Make sure you don't whip your head back right at the start. This is super common when you're learning, but if you do this on your skis, it won't go very well. Keep practicing until you can land in the same spot you took off from. If you're on a proper gymnastics trampoline, try to start and finish the trick right on the X in the middle. Make sure you can stick at least 10 or 20 in a row before even thinking about trying on your skis. That way your body will be super comfortable knowing what it's doing and spotting your landing when you're upside down. Diving board. Another great place to learn is on the diving board at your local pool. The one meter springboard is perfect. The pool is great because you'll be fine even if you land on your face. It might sting a little, but you won't be too bad. <laughs> the steps here are pretty much the same, except you have to just go for it right from the start instead of working up to it like on the trampoline. First, do a few straight airs, dives, and spins to get used to the flex of the board. Start by standing backwards on the end of the board. Stand with your heels on the board instead of being with your toes on the board and your heels hanging over the edge. This will make it a lot easier to stay balanced. Again, it's key to bounce straight up first and then bring your knees up and look up at the same time. Keep looking up and you'll see the water. Once you see the water, you can either stay tucked up or open up to control your rotation and land square on your feet. Do more and push yourself to bounce higher and lay them out more. If your pool has higher boards or platforms, you can try them there too. Higher boards and platforms will be a little scary at first, but the extra air time actually makes it easier to get the flip around. Just make sure you're really comfortable before moving up. Water ramp or airbag. The next step is to take it to your skis. The safest place to learn are either on water ramps or on an airbag. Either way, the steps are the same. Do a couple straight airs and some spins to get used to the jump. It'll usually be a lot poppier than the jumps you'll be used to hitting. This is actually good for learning flips though, because a poppy jump makes it easier to get upside down. Again, focus on popping straight up first, then when you're in the air, look up and bring your knees up to your chest at the same time. Keep looking up and behind you, and look for that landing. Once you spot it, you can judge if you need to stay tucked or open up to slow down a little. 
left and stomp your landing and you're good. Make sure you're super comfy doing them here before going out and trying them on a real jump. A good way to check if you're doing them right is to get a friend to film you with their helmet cam or your phone. That way you can see what it looks like. Seeing yourself doing it on film is the best way of learning. It'll help you see what's actually going on and it'll speed up the learning process a lot. Cow jump. Either find or make a jump into some fresh snow. If there's no actual powder around, you can just use soft snow or get a shovel and chop up some snow to make it a lot softer for you. Try to find a jump that's fairly poppy like the one on the airbag of the water ramp. Cow jumps are great because having soft snow to land in won't actually hurt as much if you mess up. But when you stick it, you actually get to just land and ride away, instead of just flopping into a bag or into a pool. Hit the jump a couple times to get used to it first. Visualize how it'll feel to do a backflip and ride away. Be confident and imagine you've already landed 10 of them. This will help you get pumped up. At this point, you've already done lots of backflips on the trampoline, diving boards, and into the airbag or water ramp, so your body knows what it needs to do. Focus on popping up first, then bring your knees up and look up with your head. Keep looking straight up and back until you can see the landing. Once you can spot the landing, you're able to see if you need to open up to slow down or stay tucked to make the rotation. When you get to the landing, keep your hands up in front and absorb the landing by flexing your ankles, knees, and hips together. Keep your core super tight on landing to make sure you stay in control and ride away smooth. Don't worry if you fall in your first few attempts. That's why you're doing it into soft snow. Get back up there and try again until you're stomping them every time. Park jump. Find a jump that has a fairly steep takeoff and measures around 20 to 30 feet long. Park jumps usually won't be quite as poppy as the jumps you've been used to so far. Because of this, the jump won't help you out with the rotation, so it's important you have a strong pop and a good set. Get used to the jump with a couple straight airs and some spins. Focus on the same steps. Pop up first, then drive your knees up and look up at the same time. Keep looking up until you can spot your landing. Then put your feet down and bam, that's it. Keep practicing and then try them on all sorts of jumps. Once you get comfortable, you can start adding grabs and laying them out for style. Summary. Backflips are huge. They're a really impressive trick and super fun to do. Once you get them down in the park, you can step them up to bigger jumps and maybe even try them in Big Mountain off some cliffs. After mastering backflips, you can move on to trying different flips like rodeos, flat spins, and cork spins. This has been Dave Wheel and Brendan Reed with SkiAddiction.com in beautiful Whistler, BC.